Pagpapala po mula sa Panginoon ang bati ng inyong lingkod sa buong kapatiran. Nawa po ang mayamang bendisyon ng ating ama sa langit. Patuloy natin maranasan. At uh, challenging man ang dumadaan na panahon, may we have enough space in our hearts to be filled with the joy of Jesus and the peace of God. Noong paman sa simula ng ating pagla-livestream sa ganitong mga kapanahunan na hindi tayo nakapaglalalabas at hindi tayo masyadong nakakapag-kita-kita. Uh, In fact, hindi tayo nakapag-kita-kita personally. Pero salamat sa technology dahil ganun pa man. In the Spirit, we are one and we can continue to partake of God's blessing to share in His love and, of course, to study together His Word that can give us strength and wisdom and even joy even in trying and challenging moments. At ang ating pag-aaral ngayong sandaling ito, pinamagatan nating love na lang. Ano ba talaga ang dapat nating gawin at upagin? Love na lang. Acts 16, 30-31 Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Maraming levels, maraming kulay ang salvation, maraming hugis. Anong salvation ang maaaring makita sa pagmamahal? Love na lang. Belief in Jesus saves. True belief in Jesus can save us from many things, from many sorrows, from many heartaches, from many disasters. At napakahalaga na maunawa kung ano ang kapangyarihan talaga ng pag-ibig, lalo't pag-ibig na nagmumula sa Diyos. Belief in what about Jesus? Ano ba tungkol kay Jesus ang dapat paliwalaan? Ano ba talaga ang uri ng paniniwala sa Kanya na nakapagliligtas mula sa maraming kapahamakan? Luke 7 36 to 50. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with him. Jesus went into the Pharisee's house and took a place at the table. So Pharisee, mga number one niya na kontrabida kay Jesus, maraming conflict ang kanila mga practices and teachings with the Lord's teachings and practices. So expect a scene. Magkakaroon ng eksena kasi Pharisee yung host, si Jesus yung guest. There was a sinful woman in that town. She knew that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. So, kita nyo agad yung mga karakter, Pharisee, self-righteous, condemning of sinners. And then here is Jesus who is loving of sinners, who is very caring and accepting. And then here is a sinful woman, branded as sinful, knowing that Jesus was in the house of this Pharisee. What could stop her from going into that house? So may clash dito no? of characters, clash of ideas that they represent. A very, very colorful and a dramatic encounter is about to happen. Pupunta siya. So we expect a scene. Magkakaroon ito ng eksena. So the woman brought some expensive perfume in an alabaster jar. She stood at Jesus' feet, crying. Then she began to wash his feet with her tears. She dried his feet with her hair. She kissed his feet many times and rubbed them with the perfume. This is a very dramatic expression of the woman's emotions. Tigmak ng luha ang kanyang mukha. Umaagos ang luha mula sa kanyang mata. At itong luha ito ay na napakarami to the point na nahugasan na ang paa ni Jesus. At ang ipinamuna siya sa pang ito ay ang kanyang malagong buhok at siya ay nandun nagpatira pa sa paanan ni Jesus upang itong very theatrical and cinematic and expressive eksena na ito ay maganap. What could drive a woman to do this thing? What would the other people say? When the Pharisee who asked Jesus to come to his house saw this, he thought to himself, if this man were a prophet, he would know that the woman who is touching him is a sinner. Ayan, nagkaroon na ng mga conflict. Habang umiiyak ang babaeng ito sa pana ni Jesus, ito namang host, who is a Pharisee, was contemplating the scene across the table. At laman ang isip niya, kung totoong propeta ang Jesus na ito, dapat alam niyang maruming babae, masamang babae, ito umiihipo sa kanyang paa. Dapat hindi niya ito payagan. 
we know that Jesus was invited to dinner, but now Jesus gets bitten for dinner. Perhaps he would be eaten for dinner if the people there would have their way. So kinikriticize na nitong host, yung kanyang guest, at yung naggate crash na babae na hindi makontain ang kanyang sarili sa pagpapahayag ng kanyang nadarama kay Jesus. In response, Jesus said to the Pharisee, Simon, I have something to say to you. So, alam ni Jesus ang iniisip nitong si Simon. Alam na alam niya kung anong pinag-iisip na malisyosong bagay nitong host niya. Simon said, let me hear it, teacher. Jesus said, there were two men. Both men owed money to the same banker. One man owed him 500 silver coins. The other man owed him 50 silver coins. The men had no money, so they could not pay their debt. But the banker told the man that they did not have to pay him. Which one of those two men will love him more? Simon answered, I think it would be the one who owed him the most money. So nagbigay si Jesus ng isang example na kwento para mapalinaw niya ang leksyon na gusto niyang ituro. Dalawang lalaki may utang sa isang nagpa-utang. Magkapareho sila may utang pero hindi magkapareho ng halaga. Yung isa na ito halaki ng utang at yung isa maliit lang naman. At ang tanong ni Jesus, pareho silang pinatawad sa utang nila, sino sa palagay mo? Ang magiging mapagpasalamat. Sino ang mas tatanaw ng utang na loob? Sabi ni Simon, eh, siyempre naman yung mas malaki ang utang na pinatawad kasi yung malaki ang naging kaligtasan niya mula sa malaki dapat na bayad. Jesus said to him, You are right. So the lesson was simplified. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? When I came into your house, you gave me no water for my feet, but she washed my feet with her tears and dried my feet. With her hair. Ibinaling ni Jesus doon sa nangyayari sa hapagkainan na yon sa bulwaga na yon yung kwento. Sabi niya, okay, tama ka. Yung malaki ang pagkakautang na pinatawad ang mas tatanaw ng mas malaking utang na loob. Mas magiging mapagpasalamat. O tingnan mo itong babaeng ito. Sabi niya, nakita mo ba yan? Ako, pumasok sa bahay mo ni hindi mo ako binigyan ng tubig panghugas ng pako. And that was the tradition in those times. Pag may taong dumating sa bahay mo, bibigyan mo ng tubig panghugas ng paan niya kung hindi mo siya masyadong pinapahalagahan. Pero kung pinapahalagahan ng host yung guest, yung host mismo ang maguhugas ng paa ng guest. So sabi ni Jesus, eh mabuti pa itong babae nito eh. Luha pa nga niya, pinahugas niya sa paa ko. Ikaw na host, ni hindi mo ko hinugasan ng paa, ni hindi mo ko bigyan ng pangsarili kong hugas ng paa. Kasi sa tingin mo, maliit lang kasalanan mo. Maliit lang ang kailangan mong hinging tawad sa Diyos. Kaya ganyan ang ugaling. Itong babae, alam niyang malaki ang kasalanan niya. Kaya mas humble siya. At mas malaki ang kanyang pagpapasalamat. Sabi niya, No water from you, but from her, lots of tears. At sa pagpapatuloy ni Jesus, You did not greet me with a kiss, but she has been kissing my feet since I came in. Standard sa mga tao ng unang panahon na yun, sa lugar na yun, na nag-greet sila ng kiss sa cheeks. At kitang-kita natin ang pagmamalaki nitong host na Pharisee, ni hindi niya hinaligan si Jesus sa pisingi. Which was the standard greeting. Samantalang sabi ni Jesus, itong babae nito, lots of humble kisses, not on my cheeks, but on my feet. Sobra ang kanyang pagpapakumbaba ikaw naman, sobrang pagmamataas. Kasi mataas ang tingin mo sa sarili mo. Ang tingin mo sa sarili mo, mas mataas kaysa sa akin. Kaya hindi mo pa dapat halikan. At ang tingin mo, wala ka namang kasalanan o napakakotin ang kasalanan mo. Kaya hindi ka kailangan magpakumbaba. You did not honor me with oil for my head, but she rubbed thy feet with her sweet smelling oil. Again, standard na pag may dumadating na bisita, lalagyan mo ng oil sa kanyang ulo. At hindi ito yung oil na malagkit na dito sa ating bansa ay parang mahirap naman na nilagyan pa ba ng oil, baka lumagkit ka. Yung oil ay nai mabango, madaling mag-evaporate, at maganda ang effect sa yung ulo o sa buhok mo kung saan man siya ipinahit. Pero sabi ni Jesus, 
kahit na mamurahing oil lang, hindi mo ko binigyan, hindi mo ko pinahiran sa aking ulo, sa aking noo. Pero ang babaeng ito, high-grade oil, essential oil, mahal na oil, ang kanyang ibinuhos, hindi sa aking ulo, kundi sa aking paa. Hindi niya itinuturing ang sarili niya karapat-dapat na sa ulo ko magbuhos, sa pisingi ko humalik, kaya sa paa ko ginawa, sa pinakababang bahagi ng aking katawan, doon niya ginawa ang kanyang pinakamataas na pagpupuri. Dahil malaki ang kasalanan niya, dahil kinikilala niya yon at ikaw hindi mo ginawa sa kanya dahil malaki ang pagtingin mo sa sarili mo at minamalit mo ang iyong kasalanan. I tell you, sabi ni Jesus, that her many sins are forgiven. Napakalaki naman na naging beneficyo ng babaeng yun. Hindi dahil nagbuo siya ng babang mamahalin, hindi dahil umiyak siya doon, kundi dahil sa puso niya na pinanggagalingan ng ganong uri ng pagtanaw ng utang na loob kay Jesus. Ganong uri ng damdamin that she was sorry for her sins. At ganong uri ng pasalamat sa Diyos na nakatanggap siya ng pagpapatawad mula kay Jesus, na si Jesus ay dumating sa kanyang buhay. At sigurado hindi lang yun ang first encounter nila dahil alam na niya kung sino si Jesus. Handa na siya magbigay ng kanyang papuri, ng parangal, ng kanyang pabango. So nakatanggap na siya ng pagpapatawad. Nakatanggap na siya ng pagpapala mula sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ni Jesus. Kaya siya naging ganon. Kaya siya naging mapagpakumbaba, mapagbigay. At ngayon, pinupuri siya ni Jesus. At sabi ni Jesus, ang mga kasalanan niya, pinapatawad. Ang laki ng benepisyo na nakuha niya dahil siya'y nagpahayag ng pag-ibig. The loving act brought her much needed forgiveness. Or the forgiveness brought about the loving act. Kahit cyclical yan, alin man ang nauna. Pinatawad siya, kaya siya naging mapagbigay. O, na mapagbigay siya, kaya siya pinatawad. The beginning is the end. It's a circle. Magpaikot-ikot man yan, yun lang ang effect. Ang pinapatawad, nagiging mapagmahal. O ang mapagmahal, pinapatawad. This is clear because she has showed great love. Sabi ng verses. People who are forgiven only a little will love only a little. So here, love is proportionate to the forgiveness received. Or forgiveness is proportionate to the love given. Again, pwedeng circle. The beginning is the end. Paikot-ikutin mo man, yun din ang ending. Then Jesus said to her, Your sins are forgiven. So now na ang act of love, then forgiveness, or kahit panaw na ba yung forgiveness ay mga pasyon, this is affirmed and confirmed and assured because of the loving act. Sa pagpapatuloy ng kwento, the people sitting at the table began to think to themselves, Who does this man think he is? How can he forgive sins? Well, the people problematized the matter instead of learning about it and learning from it, and benefiting from it. Jesus said to the woman, Because you believed, you are saved from your sins. Go in peace. Ang ganda. Paulit-ulit na sinabi ni Jesus, You are forgiven. Una, sabi niya sa mga nanonood, She is forgiven. And then sabi niya sa babae, You are forgiven. Because you believed, You are forgiven. Go in peace. Yun ang bonus. Hindi lang siya forgiven. Na lino sa kanya na forgiven siya and therefore magkakaroon na siya ng kapayapaan. Hindi na siya magigilty, hindi na siya matatakot, hindi na siya iiwas sa mga tao at tatanggapin niya yung kapahingaan ng puso, ng isip, ng damdamin because she was forgiven, because she was loving. She believed in forgiveness by faith, not by sacrifice. Nakita natin, wala siyang ginawang religious sacrifices. Kahit yung babango was not a sacrifice, it was a very practical uh, offering to Jesus because that was a custom of their time. Yung bibigka ka ng oil, pupunasan lang yung pa. It was not a religious sacrifice. Hindi siya nagpunta sa templo para mag-alay ng mga hayop, ng mga dugo ng hayop, para mapatawad ang kanyang mga kasalanan. No. She believed in forgiveness by faith. Na pag naniwala lang siya kaya, so she'd be forgiven. And she believed in Jesus as the author and dispenser of forgiveness. Hindi yung templo, hindi yung mga priest, hindi yung Pharisee. Nakita nyo, hindi siya pumunta sa Pharisee man lang. 
na may ari ng bahay, kay Jesus siya talaga nagpasalaman. She believed in being made innocent, not guilty, by Jesus' suspension of the law that condemns. Ganon kaya kalalim ang pagiging paunawa niya, hindi natin alam. Malay natin. Pero alam natin, dalawa yung forgiveness na yan. Parang paikot-ikot din as circle yan eh. May kasalanan ka, pinatawad ka, di forgiven ka na. Or, kinancel yung law that makes you sinful, eh di consider din na forgiven ka. Wala ka na rin kasalanan. In both cases, Jesus is the agent of that blessing. Jesus is the channel of that blessing. The cancellation of the law so that you will not have to be called sinful or the forgiveness according to the requirements of the law. Jesus paid for the forgiveness of sins. Kaya talagang Savior siya. Maraming lesson ang kwentong ito. But the woman did not really know what to do. Nabalitaan niya, darating si Jesus. Hindi niya alam kung anong gagawin niya, hindi naman siya religyosa. Hindi naman siya laging nando sa temple. And besides, she was obviously an outcast. So wala siyang alam gawin kung paano mapiplease ang Diyos, kung paano pasasayahin si Jesus. So ginawa lang niya yung pinaka-natural thing to do according to their culture and according to her means. She went and poured perfume on Jesus' feet. She did not know how to deal with her burden. Kaya nga siya iyak nang iyak eh. Wala siyang developed theories wala siyang mga philosophies in mind, what to do, wala siyang ritual na alam. Hindi niya alam, kaya nag-iiyak siya doon. Ginawa na lang niya the most natural thing to do, to express her love and gratitude. She did not go through elaborate religious rituals or ceremonies. She did not go through acts of repentance as required by the religious all the time. She did not even go to public prayer or to publicized prayer. She just loved Jesus. She just showed her love. She just acted lovingly. And her sins were forgiven. Namnamin natin ang kaulugan niya. She was given and assured of peace. Dahil nagmahal siya. Walang elaborate philosophy. Walang elaborate understanding. Sinunod lang niya yung tibok ng kanyang puso. Sinunod niya ang udyok ng kanyang espiritu na mahalin si Jesus, ipahayag yung pagmamahal na yun sa parang alam niya at sa parang kaya niya. Whether dealing with the issues of sin or issues of inner peace, issues of what to do, learn from this woman. Mag-love na lang. Sa mga panahon ito mga kapatid, Dumadaan tayo sa isang kakaibang klima. Dumadaan tayo sa sitwasyon na wala tayong practice. Hindi natin alam ang gagawin. Love na lang. Marami nag-iisip, ano po kayang gagawin ko? Paano po ba ako makakaligtas sa mga hirap na ito? Paano ba tayo makalampas sa mga ganitong uri ng panahon? Paano ba tayo kikilos? Anong gagawin ko? Limited ang pwede kong magawa. Nandito lang ako sa bahay. Merong ganitong mga restrictions, love na lang. Hindi mo alam ang gagawin, nalilito ka. You can never go wrong. Love Jesus. Now, here, habang nangyayari ang lahat ng ito, you are allowed to love Jesus and you are given many, many opportunities and chances to love Jesus. Love Jesus' favorite people. And that's as good as loving Jesus. Matthew 25, 34-40 Then the king will say to the godly people on his right, Come, my father has great blessings for you. The kingdom he promised is now yours. It has been prepared for you since the world was made. It is yours because when I was hungry, you gave me food to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I had no place to stay, you welcomed me into your home. When I was without clothes, You give me something to wear. When I was sick, you cared for me. When I was in prison, you visited me. Then the godly people will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or give you food? When did we see you thirsty and give you something to drink? 
When did we see you with no place to stay and welcome you into our home? When did we see you without clothes and give you something to wear? When did we see you sick or in prison and care for you? Then the king will answer, The truth is, anything you did for any of my people here, you also did for me. Mga kapatid, sa mga nag-iisip, ano kayang gagawin ko? Wala akong magawa. Anong pwede kong gawin para tumahimik ang aking loob? Para makanoon ng kapayapaan? Para ako mapatawa doon sa mga naghahanap ng kapatawaran o kaya ay iniisip na may kasalanan sila. Kaya ganito yung mga nangyayari. Lahat ng yan, isa lang ang sagot. Love na lang. Mahalin mo si Jesus kasi yun ang ginawa ng babae and she was forgiven and she was given peace. And she was given leave and say, Sige, umuwi ka na, matatahimik ka na, patahimik mong yung buhay, your sins are forgiven, and I give you peace. Paano mo mamahalin si Jesus? Mahalin mo nga ang mga taong mahal niya. Pakainin ang mga nagugutong. Painumin ang nauuhaw. Gamutin ang may sakit. Bigyan ang maisusuot ang mga hukot. Bigyan ang matutuluyan na walang matuluyan. In other words, yung strength mo, i-share mo sa iba para maging strength din nila. Kung ano lang ang meron, kayo lang ang ibigay mo. Lalo sa mga limited uh, situations na ganito. Pwede ka magmahal ng kapitbahay na baka sobrang hinakapos o wala. Walang makain, walang mainom. You can of course exercise physical uh, distancing and still be able to give to people if you really would like to. O kumisan, hindi naman material thing yung pwede mong ibigay. Marami mga tao na gubuluhan, natatakot, ininervyos, nalulungkot, naiinip. Give your company, give your companionship. Kausapin mo, lalo kung kasama mo sa bahay. Tanungin mo, libangin mo, patawanin mo, sharean mo ng mga magandang bagay, ng mga bagay na may kinalaman sa Diyos, pag-asa. You cannot. E di, yung hina niya, pinalakas mo. Yung gutom niya, binusog mo. Yung ginaw niya, binalutan mo ng balabal. Yun ang gusto ni Jesus na gawin natin. So ngayon mga panahon na ito, mga kapatid, love na lang. Yun ang atupagi natin. Kung may mga tao tayong kinakainis sa noon, Patawarin nyo na ngayon. Marami kayong oras mag-isip para magpatawad. Kung meron kang dapat higa ng tawad, nakakatext ka naman, gawin mo na. Love! Ang paanda rin. Pagka meron tayong mga naiisip na pagpukulang natin sa mga tao kahit ng mga araw pa, pwede nating makontak sila siguro electronically at uh, makipagkwentuhan tayo. Hindi naman kailangan lagi sabi mo, I'm sorry. Yun lang binati mo, kinumusta mo. Eh, yun na yun. Nagkakabalikan na kayo. Pairali ng pag-ibig sa ganitong mga panahon na mayroong mga question, may mga pag-iisip ang mga tao, may mga alalahanin, ang paghariin natin is the spirit of love. God is love. And the answer to worries, to fears, the answer to boredom, the answer to anxieties, is still Jesus. And Jesus is love. Pag tayo'y mayroong minamahal, may pinagpapahayagan tayo ng pag-ibig, mayroon tayong nililibang, Pinapasaya, may himalang nangyayari, hindi lang sa kanila, pati rin sa atin. Pag yung pag-ibig ng Diyos ay ating pinairal, pinalakas, naging liwanag ng ating kinalalagyan, may pagpapagaling, hindi lang ng katawan, kundi ng emosyon, ng puso. Pagka ang pag-ibig ay ating ipinahayag, pinawalan, pinairal, nagkahari ang Diyos. At pag nagkahari ang Diyos, ang dami-dami niya iniaayos, itinatama, pinalalakas. Loving pleases God. Loving receives God's blessings, especially peace. And loving turns a cycle of God's blessings. Very importantly, mga kapatid, loving will quiet your heart. Of course, it will also quiet the heart of the one being loved. Loving makes you peaceful and happy. And what better answer to all of these difficulties now than having inner peace? The peace of God. And the peace reigns when we love. Because when we love, the power of God is at work. Not only in the object of our love, but also in our hearts, which is the giver of the love, the dispenser and channel of the love of God. Kumikilos ang buong makinarya ng langit pag merong pagmamahal at nagmamahalan. At sa pagkilos niyan, lahat magbibiyayahan. So, love na lang. 1 Peter 4.8 Above all, love each other deeply 
because love covers over a multitude of sins. Magmahalan na, malalim, malawak, mataas, magandang pagmamahalan dahil tinatakpan ng pag-ibig ang napakaraming kasalanan. And the original language when read and interpreted and translated could read, tinatakpan ng pag-ibig ang kasalanan nung iniibig at tinatakpan din ng pag-ibig ang kasalanan nung nagmamahal. So pareho kayo nagbe-beneficyo. Napakalaki ng nagkaganap na himala pag may pag-ibig na ibinibigay, ipinaparamdam, at ipinapakita. Luke 3, 10 to 11. What should we do then? The crowd asked. John answered, Anyone who has two shirts should share with the one who has none. And anyone who has food should do the same. Ganun lang kasimple. Hindi natin kailangan ng mga elaborate theories, mga elaborate philosophies and mechanics. Magmahal ka lang. Magshare ka. Yung meron kang sobra, ibigay mo sa iba. Magiging equal ang inyong kalagayan, yung kulang niya na puno, yung sobra mo na wala, wala ka tatuloy burden, lahat masaya. Acts 16.30-31 Ang ating opening verse. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. You and your household. Saved from what? Marami. Saved from hell? Yes. Saved from a hell-like feeling because of a negative emotion? Yes. Saved from fear? Yes. Saved from uncertainty? Yes. From loneliness? Yes. From worry, from anxiety, yes, because Jesus is Savior from all and everything that would like to make people suffer. Jesus is our Savior. His name is above every name. So His name is above the name of sadness, of boredom, of fear, of anxiety, of uncertainty, of want, of poverty. All of that, the name of Jesus is above all those names. And the best way to operationalize and put to work the name of Jesus is to love. Because Jesus is love. Belief in Jesus saves. So believe in love. Loving covers over a multitude of sins and its consequences. Loving pleases God. And when God is pleased, who can stop God from blessing us? Loving brings about peace, which is what we need. Loving saves. Pagka ang tao ay nagmamahal, nalilimutan niya ang selfishness, nalilimutan niya ang sarili, nalilimutan niya ang fear, nalilimutan niya ang mga anxieties, ang mga kung ano-anong bumabagabag sa kanya. Therefore, love heals. Love heals the lover's mind and lover's heart. At lalo sa ganito mga panahon, ang mga tao, natatakot na sila yung magkasakit. Pero ang pinakamahalagang panlaban sa sakit, a peace of mind, a quiet heart. At kung pwede pa maging happy heart, joyful heart, cheerful heart, kasi yan hindi tatabla ng mga sakit. Kung ikaw ay punong-puno ng kaligayahan ng Panginoon, nananig, tahimik ka, nagmamahal, nag-uumabo ka sa pagbibigay, there is no space for outside forces to conquer your health, your body, your emotions. So, mga kapatid, sa ganitong mga panahon, lalo sa ganitong panahon, love na lang tayo. Umimbento tayo ng mga paraan, maghanap, how we can be loving or more loving. At sa pag-exercise natin ng pagmamahalan, pagtutulungan, pag-ibig, gumagaling tayo. Gumagaling ang ating kapwa. Natutuwa ang Diyos at umaandar ang makinarihan niya ng blessing. God bless you. Love na lang.